Dirty Bikers have got a new album out at the moment called Stu to the Gills on Virgin Records. And according to them, it's a concept album. So I asked the band whether they were serious about it this time. Right then, the second dead horse. To be honest, we don't think we're not taking the piss, really. <laughs> Hugely tongue-in-cheek, tongue-in-cheek even, tongue-in-cheek. Why? No, because if, we, if you carry on sort of taking the piss on such a surface level all the time, people just dismiss you and it's like... Why it's do not... you think we're taking the piss? Because you've read that it's a concept album. No, I was just saying that, that you've said it's a concept album, or people have said that it's a concept album. I've but in a way, when God, you look at the but... titles on the album, I mean, I haven't, to admit, I haven't heard the album yet because I haven't, well, I haven't been sent it yet, but I, I don't know what the tracks are like, but looking at the titles and stuff, I wouldn't say it's anything to do with what you say it is. Of course. And that's we lie. <laughs> that's because we like people to um, write lots of letters to the music papers and say, excuse me, this isn't a concept album. What is a concept album? Our first album? album was a concept album because we made a film. But what is a concept album? Well, you tell me. Why is it such it? an outdated thing? I mean, here we are, like, buying reissues of... Uh, Pete Townsend's greatest hits and Eric clapped out and all this, these people. These people were responsible for it, developing the whole idea of concept albums. We went for and yet, yet stations like your station and big record companies are churning out all that kind of crap as we speak, you know. She was the hottest thing I ever had in all my life. Like I just said to you in about 10 years' time when we've been around for so long and everyone's going, what a great band the bikers are! Like they're still going, and they're, they're I mean, their CDs are, re are reissuing at their records, and they're, they're selling loads and loads. And it, it, we don't want to be a part. I mean, the whole thing about being tagged as something. Original. <laughs> <laughs> He's a strange boy. He is. We didn't want to be tagged along with anybody. The whole of what we were about is not being tagged anything. And then, then we got a tag, and it was like a bunch of lazy journalists being lazy, not using their imagination. You know. So, uh, as far as um, as far as being defensive, it's just uh, what, why why let somebody else put you into a, a corner? And when when you there's meant there's lots of things that we still want to do, and we're still gonna do. If you had to start all over again as gay bikers, then would you do anything differently, or would you ask the press to see no, you in any way differently? Why regret things that you've done in your life? You know, it's no point. I mean, we, you just learn from your mistakes, don't you? Better. To... <laughs> Better to, <laughs> it's better to regret something that you have done than to regret something that you haven't done. But you, you don't think that, um, you know, I mean, you also seem to be, to me, to be complaining about the way that people have seen you in the press. It's like... No, we're not complaining. You do, though. No, we're, we're, not. Not. we're not complaining. Yes, we do. You, you All right, do. Let's <laughs> we do complain. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to be seen as any way differently? You know, you're saying that people don't take you seriously. And I mean, you are an intelligent band. You're intelligent people in the band. So why sort of like get fed just, up with people accusing you of time, not being... time will tell. We, well, how can we tell in after two years? I mean, come and talk to I us in five years' time. I don't take myself seriously. He doesn't take it. I don't take myself that seriously. I mean, the thing is, musically, we're just getting better and better at what we do. We just wanted to get noticed when we started. We had a stupid name. The press fell for the bait. And they started writing about us, gave us front covers of everything. Singles sold pretty well. I mean... That's, that's, that's not our problem, you know, I mean, the fact that the, 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 the industry takes you and thinks that they can market you. I mean, the thing is, we'll market ourselves eventually, you know, people will buy our, our products <laughs> because it's good. Adopt, we want to adopt the abstract. Mm, juxtaposed We're therein the... for after. <laughs> <laughs> Theref, therefore in now after, juxtaposed with different uh, juxtapositions. So you don't see yourselves as, um, in quotes, social surrealists? Um, yeah, we do. Yes. Yeah, we do. But we're not a cartoon joke band. But we're not a cartoon, we're a social surrealist. But, I mean, we were interested in singing about things that are going on around us as well, and we're, we're interested in getting better as a band. <laughs> All, all, all really good comedians are really generally very serious people, you know what I mean? And, and just because we're in a, a throwaway industry it doesn't mean to say that we haven't got, you know, that we aren't serious and we're not funny, you know? I mean, you can't, can we not be one without the other? Or are we so narrow-minded that you have to be either funny or very, or very serious, you know? Do you not think you've set yourselves up at all, then? Of course we've set ourselves up. 
But that's that that that's that's something that we've got to try and get over, really. I mean, try and try and just make the best of. We've set ourselves up. We've given ourselves a position to to, to be a band where other bands don't get any press. Do you know what I mean? You sit at home, you're thinking, I want to be in a band. I want to be in a band. I want to be this band. I want to be in that band. I want to. Well, as soon as as soon as I get, I want to get taken seriously. I want people to write things about me, and that's what happened to us. You know, I mean, we have. We, what, how have we set ourselves up? I mean, other people have tried to set us up, but we haven't set ourselves up. <coughs> My bed's a fire. Okay, bikers on acid. Congratulations uh, regarding the big wedding. Absolutely excellent. Also, watch out for a track off their L album featuring Harry Carpenter, the British golf commentator. Interesting.